Hello viewers, this is Roman from Oil and Gas Field Quality Control. In the last video, we have discussed about the piping. For understanding the piping during the construction phase, we need to take help of some drawings. The most popular drawing for piping for easy representation is isometric drawings. Let us have some insight for isometric drawing. What is piping isometric drawing and how to read piping isometric drawing? This will be our basic topic in this part. If you are from an engineering background, then I hope you must have learned how to draw orthogonal projection of any object. Isometric drawings are the representation of the 3D object in a 2D plane. Isometric drawing is basically projection in which three coordinate system appears into the same plane at 120 degree apart. Features of piping isometric drawing. An isometric drawing is a two dimensional 2D drawing that represents the 3D piping system. The small sketch over here can give you an idea. Features of piping isometric drawing. Isometric drawing is not drawn to the scale but it is proportionate with the exact dimension represented. Piping are drawn with a single line irrespective of the line sizes, as well as the other configurations such as reducers, flanges and valves also represented by lines. Piping are shown in the same size. The actual sizes are notified in the bill of material, which can be attached separately or printed in the drawing itself. Tagging, call out or notes. A piping isometric drawing provides all the required informations like pipeline number, continuation isometric number, flow direction, piping dimensions, piping joint types, oil types, flange and valve types, equipment connection details, piping components, descriptions with size, quantity and material codes. Isometric drawing can provide you details about the movement of the pipe mainly in three directions that is east west north south and up and down apart from the mentioned three directions isometrics can even represent a line that is landing other than these three directions that is east south direction northwest direction and north up direction etc you can see some example of isometric drawing with a lot of informations. Pipe description, how it is being represented in piping isometric drawing. The description given in the isometric drawing can tell you all about the pipe going to be used for the fabrication of spool. From the above image, the description of the pipe can be briefed as pipe seamless BE schedule STD. ASTM A106 grade B, A ASME B36.10, NPD 150mm and quantity is 1.9 meter. Let us have the description. Seamless means the pipe that will be used must be a seamless pipe. BE means receive full length pipe will have a beveled edge BE for the joint preparation. Schedule standard means indication the pipe schedule to be used in this case is standard schedule. ASTM A106 this defines the material grade and composition of the pipe as per ASME standard B36.10. Piping isometric drawings are popular because of their simplicity yet efficient in conveying complex information. The following figure gives an example of how Isometric drawing can be represented in three orthographic drawings. That is just a simple piping drawing. In earlier days, isometric drawings were hand-drawn. With the innovation and advancement of the digital age, isometrics are drawn by AutoCAD MicroStation software. In recent days, 3D models could automatically extract the isometric drawing with a single click of a mouse. Here is an example of orthographic versus isometric drawing. In the plan view and east elevation and north elevation, you can represent it with a simple isometric drawing, which is at the top right corner. Direction also can be followed with an arrow at the top corner, where is the north. And you can see a very simple representation of isometric drawing. 
It can be used for installation, fabrication or any other purpose. This is a complete isometric drawing example. You can stop the slide and go for the detail if you require. So that's all for the part one of isometric drawing. I will have two more small parts to describe the other aspects of the isometric drawing. So if you like the way of my teaching, please don't forget to hit the like button and share my channel to your friends and subscribe to my channel. Signing off, Showman for today.